things in my eyes. Like I get eyelashes and things in my eyes. Okay. How often do you rub your eyes? No, I would I couldn't answer that. Do you think it's many times a day? I'd say it's a couple times a day. Yeah. Yeah. But you've induced most of it by okay. rubbing. Because right. believe it or not, you won't even know when you're rubbing your eye. Yeah, yeah. Imagine. I've had people sit in the chair going, I don't rub my eye and then they rub. Yeah. I'm like, what'd you do that for? And they go, what? That's it. People don't even know they're rubbing. Yeah. Okay. And rubbing has three major causes. One is watering. You don't water. You would have said it by now. One is itch. You described irritation, not itch. Yeah. Itch is often allergic. And the other is habit. And 90% of rubbers are habitual rubbers. Right, okay. And you will be a habitual rubber. Right, okay. So the reality here is you got to stop rubbing. Right. Cheapest form of treatment is one you give yourself. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Yeah. You're going to not rub. Yeah. Just remember your eye is a soft structure and your hand isn't. Yeah. And you basically warp that eye when you rub. Yeah, okay. So here's some alternatives when you do mm. feel the need to rub. When you feel the need to rub, rather than using a pressure, I call zero pressure contact. Rather than feeling the pressure point of your finger, if you actually were to use your nail, you can actually get the same effect and by using your nail, you avoid rubbing. What actually what? gets rid of any form of irritation and discomfort, and we all get them. Okay. But what I'm trying to do is condition you out of rubbing. Yeah, that heavy pressure. Yeah. If we can condition you out of rubbing, this should prove absolutely stable. All I'm trying to ask you to do is just don't damage them, don't hurt them. Yeah, okay. Your knuckle fits in there just beautifully. Yeah, it does. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like tooth pain, you know, you rub it, it feels good. Yeah. But it's magnified with the eyes. Yeah, okay. So just picture that. Picture that. Just don't rub it. The best analogy I give people is imagine an elephant trying to roll a grape. Yeah. What happens to the grape? It doesn't last long. It doesn't last long, right? Your hand is like an elephant's foot. Right. Let's have a look at yours. <laughs> 